So this is the first time I'm going to ever be as vulnerable as I can and I will be on the internet or anywhere because if you know me, I'm very private and a very, very private person. Is when it comes to business, I know that I will come to Loya and ask her for advice because mm -hmm. she's when it comes to business, Loya is a very dedicated person. I have more male friends. Yeah, yeah female male friends. friends. And all my male friends, have ne most of them have never liked me. Mm -hmm. Right? You said nothing about Most like of them. <laughs> they have this magical power where I thought that I like me to my friends. <laughs> I used to, used to work every time. Like, Don't treat me like a you Hey guys, how are you doing? You're welcome back to my channel. My name is Nairi G. If this is the first time I've been on my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell close to you so you get any of my videos. Guys, most importantly, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. And of course, today I'm not here alone. I have a beautiful girl who is there with me. Hi everyone. Hi. Don't forget to subscribe. You have to subscribe. Yes. Okay? Thank you. Yeah. I'm so excited to be here. My first YouTube intro. Okay. I've never been on a YouTube video before. So I'm really excited to be here with Noya Richie. Obviously the best YouTube channel on YouTube. Baby, I'm so glad to actually be the first person who will see you on the channel, yeah. to be honest. I'm really excited to be here. Thank you. So I'm going to allow my girl to introduce herself and then we'll kickstart this video. My name is Marie Jennifer Eduge. I am a brand influencer. I'm a woman in tech. I work in product management. And I am an entrepreneur. Businesswoman. I'm a businesswoman. Okay. I'm into real estate as well. Airbnb. Follow my business page, okay. Comfort Hub. You know, we give you such a, a very easy experience to just get an Airbnb in Lagos on uh, the island or the mainland. So if you're trying to get one of that, you can. Jenny, how many things do you want to do? I'm such a. <laughs> I want to see you it. You need to make I'm money a, everywhere. I and I enjoy doing it. Okay. That's me. That's every year. Welcome, Jenny. It's good to have you. Thank you so, so much. today, I told you guys I'm going to be bringing something fresh to my channel, something interesting, something relatable. So, I'm going to be having my girls, or sorry, my friends over, both male and female, strangers as well. We talk about like things, relatable topics, and everything in general. So, Jenny, today we're going to be talking about things you wish you knew in your early 20s. Um, yeah, and I'm going to bring it into Lagos as a single girl living in Lagos as well. As well, how did I say single girl as a girl living in Lagos? We don't know how single or taking she is, she's going to tell you about that. <laughs> you find out, <laughs> just keep going. But what were the things you wish you knew in your early 20s? And also, one of the reasons we're doing this is because those things we in our early 20s, because we're still in our 20s yes, at the yeah. end of it, let's not let it not be as if we lose so much information. Because we are OGs. Yeah. We are still in the 20s, just from the late 20s. 20s. And we didn't know we didn't know all this. And we feel like people that are still in their 20s could get one or two ideas or information that could help them. Yeah. So yeah, give us like a start off with one. Alright, so we're going to talk about friendships. Okay. Things I wish I knew in my early twenties. I wish I never really over obsessed about friendships too much in my twenties. Cause I always wanted like a female friendship that was like sisterhood bond and you know all of that. But I'm grateful for the experience I've like, having like a sister. Yeah, it's such a I see people have you and AB make me feel so emotional. I'm so sorry, Sarah. We literally had a photo shoot to celebrate 10 years of friendship. Yeah, we had a photo shoot, a real photo shoot. And they look so cute. That was just big. I that was that. just big, big intention. But no like rush, that, to be honest. No rush. But yeah, I feel like my early 20s, I from a very young age, I've always been so obsessed with having a best friend, having a friend. Oh my god, I had friends all my life. So I knew what I was. I wanted someone that I was really my person. I wanted someone that I was I could be open with and just be so vulnerable with and okay. all of that. But to be honest, so far I don't think I really found that person. But you know what I've learned? I've yeah. learned that with friendship, it takes a lot of work to make it work. Like you know, it's just like being in a relationship. It takes like, a lot of work. I you need to, to like, the way you treat your romantic relationship. I, I read that in the book. Should be the same way you treat your relationship with your friends too. As well, I wish I wasn't too so serious about being having a best friend 
brain, all of that. Because so you mean it's okay to actually go to okay. your training without having a best so friend? Have a friend, but about don't obsess about having, having a best friend. In case you don't have that, you know the people you have around you. Just you know, I later learned that each person are in your life for a particular reason, and it's important to sit down and analyze who and who is in your life. Like you could have like five different friends that are just amazing, but they bring in different. They bring in different advantage into your life yeah. you know i could have it like now noya is my friend right yeah but i don't see you every time there are certain things when it comes to business i know that i will come to noya and ask her for advice mm -hmm. because she's when it comes to business noya is a very dedicated person very confident <laughs> focused and when it comes to business like, yeah. she's very like very very focused like nothing can distract her don't get me started on that that's just so that's the best for me exactly when it comes to i know i will come to her like she will know that when it comes to doing content with brands and partnership i will come to her that while yeah, working yeah. together even though we we'll yeah. fight yeah because she can be very controlling she <laughs> she'll tell you that this is how it is i'll tell you no because we are stubborn too we're both stubborn yeah we're really both cool. stubborn but then we always still make it work and it's magic mm -hmm. do you understand mm -hmm. so i i think in your early 20s learn to know how to define the people in your life mm -hmm. don't overthink everything but at the same time don't just go around cutting everybody cut oh. off because um, everybody is in your life for a for particular reason. reason and purpose it's cool to actually have friends like people that just want to have friends and like people that just like i am a boss like yeah. what was it why was it like that for you yeah so, so was it like that me, for you because i asked you as well earlier yeah. how like is it that you didn't have like siblings or you didn't have anybody to talk to in your early school you know when you were younger yeah. that made you to go for plan b yeah. i mean i don't want to call friends plan b but siblings has to be their first then friends second so what happened like didn't you have someone so this is the first time i'm going to ever be as vulnerable as i can and i would be on the internet or anywhere because if you know me you know i'm a very private and a very very private person i'm very private so i don't really mind talking about because it, it could literally help someone and someone too might be struggling with this in their 20s and they don't know how to go about it so for me growing up i had two elder sisters and a brother my brother i love him so much and you know he grew up to he grew up and became a big boy let me just put it that way which means that i was not on his left way again you get so growing up i didn't have my brother to hang out with. So I was not so close to my brother anymore compared to how I was young, when we were younger because we used to be so close. Yeah. My sisters would go to boarding school and just be near my brother at home and we would do everything. We would play video games together. We would do him and you have to play video games and you know, do all the boyish stuff and all of that. And you know, he grew up. And my sisters were never around. I have a sister that is 10 years older than me and she was never really around. She would go to work and she was not just happy with That would make more sense for you. Yeah, and I have a second sister who was way cooler than me. And I never even felt I was so insecure growing up. So I felt that, oh my gosh, she was too cool and I don't think I could you know meet up to that standard oh, oh my god how do you think like that's about your sister and not trying to like not yeah to so you know she would always go out every time and you know sometimes she would take me out she took me i just felt like i did not fit into that crowd so you know it kind of made you not so, yeah so i just so felt like for something outside i knew it used to break my heart because i had friends that they, them and their siblings they were so, so tight cool. and i just couldn't understand how you were working you know but then I was heartbroken, I wouldn't lie. And then you were younger, so. Yeah, so I now started looking for that in friends. People. And it broke my heart so many times. Because I feel like nobody can really replace the bond that you have with family. Yeah, yeah. And no one can give you that bond that you and family have. Because I know how many times my heart broke when I was completely vulnerable with people around me. Mm -hmm. And they would take that vulnerability and use it against me. I feel like I need to help. I'm fine. I feel like I need the help. I need the help. But yeah, like um, it happens, right? But what 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 would I have wished I did better? I wish I would have talk, spoken to God more about it. And I would have been more open to God about it because I know I, I knew God growing up, but you know, sometimes you feel like you got this. You know, yeah. I got this, I don't need God to help me. I got it and I can do this. But I feel like I should have extended that friendship to God. And I'm sure if I extended that friendship to God, I would have navigated and found Something people that people I have those things in common. But I really do not regret any of the experience. What about us? Yeah, what about now? Did you say you have like good friends at the moment? Right now, yes, I have really good friends from secondary school. Okay. And I think that's where we go into the part where I say that 
you friendships are like relationships, you build them. And I remember there was a, my best friend from secondary school, which is that we were so close and all of that. And you know, from second school we're close and we didn't speak for four years because we had a fight. Ooh. You know, and me, eh, like I used to carry things on my head so much, eh, and I can be so, and I used to be so emotional sometimes. Yeah. I would say things that I'm just saying at that point because I'm like, I don't want to speak to ever in my life again. Mm-hmm. You know, because my friend was distancing away from me. So I like, a lot of time though. Yeah, because he's he's my friend, like he's my guy, right? Yeah. yeah. So he's the one I know that okay, if I want to talk to just him about something, I'll call him both. I just was so proud that because of. I didn't have things my way. <laughs> and I now said I don't talk to you again. Oh, okay, <laughs> guy this time. Okay. Yeah, he's my friend, my friend. We're still very yeah. good friends, like my guys and like my brother. You know how people talk about girls and like guys and you girls. Know, people, have, people never have good friends. You understand? People never believe that me and him were just friends. friends. With the, I don't know. Oh, oh, why? How? Why exactly. does that happen? Why? See, the thing is that. I can never imagine him in any other way, and Apart he can from never being, like he can never even imagine me that way too as well. Because I know people that you tell me things and they will so Because I know that like, we know we, we know the kind of conversation. Like, we yeah. used to be like, oh god, that is a possibility like, for male for a girl and a girl. Like, but it's not friends. everyone. It's not. People don't get it. It's not yeah. everyone. Because I know that in my life, you know, I have more male friends. Yeah, than female, female friends. friends, and all my male friends. Have ne- most of them have never liked me. Mm-hmm. Right? Is it that they never liked most them? of them. Some of them have liked. So they have this magical power where I thought that like me is my friend. <laughs> and the point is that we become very good friends. I have quite a lot of really amazing, great male friends. So yeah. Yeah, and I really appreciate them. <laughs> yeah, I have amazing male friends. So yeah, you know, you so, walk on it. We didn't speak for four years, and I remember that my friend had died, and I know, I know, also like. I lost someone. Is this the one that we were speaking for a long time and died on? Like, you guys didn't talk. Yeah. We were speaking, it wasn't for a long time. How did you go on from that? And I think that was when everything really changed for me. And the way I saw things really changed for me, right? Um, you know, I, I used to take things so personal. Like, it hurts me. It I just think. If you hurt me, I will never forget. And I will completely detach you from my life. Like, do you understand? Mm-hmm. Which is such a very toxic thing, right? And I remember that we had a disagreement, and I t- and it wasn't even that because it's always the funny things that actually in this, and I had taken it so things. personal. He was telling me that he he wanted to see me, right? I was like, I'm busy, and all the time I just had just moved. But then I now like later found that everything that happened, I was so broken, I was sad, I'm still broken till today. And that that now changed my perspective about how I see things and how I see friends. friends. And that's why initially I said, don't take things personal. People will trust you, but love, like spread the love. Spread the love to me too. Before I always like for now, if I if I have issues with you, yeah. I don't talk. I will never be the fr- I will never be the person to go tell you hi or hello and try to make it more. But as I've grown, which is actually true, the things you wish you knew when you were younger, yeah. as I've grown, I know that these things are. It doesn't hurt. Because the truth is that it's going to be hurting you. I don't talk to the person you're yeah, having. It's going to be hurting you. So yeah. let it go. Just. Observe the people around you, know their benefits in your life. Before you even and bring them in, try to yeah, know try who they to are. Know who they are. are. One thing down. about knowing God is that you can know all these things before it happens if you are patient. And True. Aware about True. It. That works. Okay, that works. So that's all I have to say about friendship. So, do you have any other thing you want to say? Talking about business, you were saying that I did a lot business. of things. Okay. In your early 20s, try out different things, and it's okay to not have it figured out. I literally do not I feel have like we are this thing out. I feel like as yeah. day comes in, we are bringing in new business yeah. ideas and adding it up and let's just all do it, yeah. you know? And you, it's okay. you don't have it figured out. Like, I literally do not know what I wanted to do when I was 25. Like, I didn't know what I wanted to do in my life. And I was so depressed about it. I was so hard on myself. And I wish I was more gentle with myself. I wish I gave myself. Because most people feel like internet, social media, yeah. and everything has been. I wish I was more gentle to myself. Because I have a business. I had a coaching line that failed. Like, that's still like three times. I, that's still three times. Joe, Lagos. But Jay, it's, still, it's, still, it's still, the business is still there, right? It's, guess what? You're going to come back to it again. 
Yes, I will. It's because not like a face. first love. That's the truth. Yeah, I've always Joe Lagos have Same thing with you too. Everybody in my life is Joe Lagos. That is Joe Lagos. That's my girl right there. Yeah. So she has a brand. So try different things. Like I, I was so confused about what to do, and I was hard on myself. And I wish that I just because initially I finally found out what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. I yeah. knew what I wanted to do when after beating myself up because I had to sit down and research and sit down and deeply ask myself what do I love? Okay. What do I enjoy doing? And I had to try different courses. So don't be hard on yourself. But it doesn't mean you should just sit down and not do anything. Just it's okay for you to fail and get And it's okay to fail because me I feel like my business three times. And we're still doing it. We are here. And I'm still here. Right. So that you was that, that also works because I feel like me, I just said business and I am someone that I'm lazy in every other thing, but when it comes to this, I'm making money. I am offering, and I can't remember how many things I've done. I've been a stylist. I've been a, a quality tailor. Let me just call it tailor. I've made clothes mm-hmm. before. I mean, YouTube has been my thing. Guess what? I've got quite a I'm doing this. I can also say that I've failed on YouTube in so many ways. It says that I go off, I come in, I go off, I come in, yeah. right? Because it's hard. But guess what? We are still doing this. Yeah. I've, I've doing YouTube. I've tried to uh, manage an Airbnb before. Yeah. I've Right now, I'm a photographer, I'm a videographer, mm-hmm. I've done lots of things, right? So, influencer, content creator, oh, so that's just a little but bit. In but of, yeah, in the midst of trying to figure out the things that you want, what you to want do, at the end, be consistent and take it seriously. Mm-hmm. And the times I feel that my pizza, it wasn't like I was just sitting up doing nothing. I literally go to the market. If you know me, mm. I don't like going to the market. But I don't like stress. Yes. Like my friends that know me, even do that. <laughs> I said I would go to the market. <laughs> I remember the first day I went to Yaba Market to source for fabric. I told my mother to take a picture of me so that I would look at the thing. I remember that I worked hard. I don't like going to the market, but I carried my bag and I went to the market. My mother showed me around, and after I finished school, she told me to go and find my way. And I, I, I had to. I didn't have to. I remember I was taking Uber to Yaba. Look at you. I was taking Uber to Yaba. I was taking Uber to Yaba. I used to enter bus with bus. I was taking Uber to Yaba. And I was taking Uber. Jump on the 10 day show mall. I'm going upstairs. So that's it. So that owns the whole business. But then, like, you you start learning. But I launched. I sold out, and I was, I was, was like, I was, I felt fulfilled. So in your early twenties, as you're trying to say, don't subject yourself to doing one thing, mm-hmm. and even as you're doing one thing, because that there's some people that actually know what they want to do from day one. Yeah. They put that actually go all day, so it's good to do that. But if you don't, and you still have to figure it out it yourself, be, it's not late. And it can be like the stupidest thing ever. I like that. It's okay to be different. Different yeah, is amazing. Right. Difference is beautiful, and I think that was something I struggled with growing up. Mm-hmm. I've always been a very different person, like with my style, the things I like, not liking to be stressed, and you know, I used to be so shy to be open about no one because I don't like stress. I don't like stress at all. And me, I know that I used to be so scared to say, but then I had to work work hard to adopt my lifestyle. And so, guess what? It's okay for you not to figure out your life at your early twenties, yeah. even in your late twenties. Yeah, you might not even still figure it out at your late twenties. You might not even know what you want. Like, yeah. Because I remember there was a book I was reading, and it was saying that your twenties are for you to make mistakes and yeah. for you to everything. just get to know yourself. Like well, speaking of getting to know yourself, Jenny, how has living in Lagos changed your life? Because I know we're talking about what you need in, in your early twenties as well. As I'm bringing it down to the cost as well, where you are kind of like influencing your choices, your life entirely. So, business as well, friendship as well. How has living in Lagos like changed your life, changed your personality, and changed your thinking and mindset? I love Lagos so much because Lagos would make you want to work hard. Okay. I love the fact that. People are over achieving things, and even your age mate, you see your age mate achieving things that are mighty and great. I'm like, wow, what's happening? I'm clapping, I'm like, I can do it too. And then you said it's the business idea, you also think, do you feel like if you stayed in some, if you stay somewhere else, you could have had this mentality? Well, I feel like if I leave someone like you, I will never have to. <laughs> I would just be feeling like a big girl. No shades to be in. And that's why it's good to be around places that you're around people that are better than you. Because if you are the best person in an area that you're in, you know, it just makes you feel like you don't have money. Like and I love that work. because yeah. you're working yeah. hard and you're working hard mm-hmm. and you are, your mind is literally expanding more and you want to Meeting know and people. get to do more things and you're not settling. 
I like the fact that Lagos doesn't make you stuck here. In all areas. I like the fact in except all areas. You to, except you are intimidated and you want stuff. I love mm. the fact that Lagos doesn't make you stuck yeah, I feel like it does that to everybody. So because even when you start, when you come to Lagos, for those that haven't lived in Lagos, yeah. if you come to Lagos, it's okay for you to like take it easy or well, give it time. You just like go in. It's just like it's a spirit that comes to Lagos. Everybody just wants to also and get it for themselves. So I feel like all those things we we didn't know early, right? Like being in Lagos also kind of like makes you do it yeah. to some extent because there are people here, different people here, different ideas and ideologies and either in the city or you're in the midst of all of these things, you cannot not get into it. You live alone. You yes. live your family, you live friends. I don't anymore. You were. I used to but I don't anymore. Do you think living with your family kind of like limits you to some things as compared to if you were living alone in terms of friendship in terms of business well number one i'm happy i don't wake up to my mother's sound before the day but it's so annoying like she even did it this weekend because i just came back from the house and my mother is literally i remember i just i just came downstairs from the room so can let me just crash on the couch and she just closed my eyes yeah. my mother was crap she literally saw me closing my eyes i just got to her just like why why <laughs> and she, she was just looking at me like jennifer it's six o'clock in the morning. Get do up something. and sleep in the house. Do something. I was like, I was like wow, thank God. <laughs> do something. You remember, I was like, oh, I do not miss this. So no, do you no, think? No. Do you think it's something you can tell your younger press, your younger self, that you wish you would have left your house? So early? well, I do not because so that is actually, something that it's actually you like about. a hot, hot, cold situation because I do not miss the house. I feel like us. it's a hot situation. I do not feel like she used to police me like. Don't go here. Even I need. I always have to ask for permission to go out, and I feel like you should not leave the house in any twenty two. Because if you have too much freedom, you gotta be rough. Yes, definitely. You because know? I'm sure. I feel like some of the discipline that my mother instilled in me and what's like, like that's what followed me. But I really miss my mother's food. I miss spending time with her. Yeah, that's free food. What are talking about? I miss free food. That's free. Now I have to sit down and think about that once again. There's a lot of experiences happening as you as a single lady staying alone. With all of that, I feel like that's also the one I want to chip into in um, the things you wish you knew more because at the end of it, the pros, right, outweighs the cons in leaving your family house or your parents' house earlier. Some people might feel like this is not a good advice, but I feel like if you want to start taking responsibilities, if you want to start getting into business, yeah. getting into work, getting settled, I would say that you really living, me. And then another thing I wanted to ask was that how has Lagos affected your dating? Now, Jenny says she's single, right? Jenny, you're single, right? How has Lagos affected your dating life? <sighs> <laughs> I hope that answers it. What is it? What is, it? What is that? Mm. That is just a relief. Mm. <laughs> ha! God forgive me. I, I'm trying to stop being negative and be more positive. Okay. I say so far because right now I'm single and I'm just like I don't even know. Like I'm just enjoying myself. Like I'm having a good time with myself and my friends. Like. Early twenties. How was it dating life in your early twenties? And how has Lagos men will been... show you pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm, 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 I'm so sorry. I'm apologizing. I'm sorry. I'm like, I'm ah. Right no, no, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Go for me. They will show you pepper like they show you. Go for me. Yeah, they tell me. No. Ha, ah, but what, what, you, what, what do you think people should I mean? People are allowed to date in their early twenties for No, you so. should date in your early twenties. Like it would I'm so glad for the experiences I had because if I didn't have these experiences, I don't think I would be thinking the way I mm-hmm. actually see the now. Right. If you're young in your early twenties and you want to start dating, have standards that you're very assertive about mm-hmm. and no matter how much the most attractive guy that comes your way comes your way and he doesn't have those standards, no, you will be able right. to say no and not go for it. Because if you go below your standards, you'll be setting yourself up for a trap that will take generations to heal. Right. <laughs> and it will never stop. And that's what you're gonna get into. It's a, it's a, it's a literally leave a mm-hmm. mark. I think I also said something to myself. I'm someone that is very stringent and very like, you know, um what I want is what I want. That's still good. Um you know how it is when you say you must find someone that you really, really, really 
you like tick all your boxes before you get it. You don't have to tick your boxes. You can have like so now that is a thing. Whatever you just said now made sense. That's what I'm trying to say. So I have I was someone that needed to tick all my boxes, and because of that, I don't think I kind of like had. Ah, um, good, I don't think I had like a that. lot of dating experiences in my early twenties. Same here. I didn't have. Like it's I didn't not have, good. I didn't have a lot of dating experiences. So that's the. It's not. You should be able to like. I feel like people date, should date. Date. Yeah, but know, intentionally. You know, intentionally. Yeah, I was not serious. Not just you know that's like not just sleeping. Me, around. I was not no. serious. So that's what she said. Turn my love. Even though they tick some of your boxes. Get into it, see how it is, learn, move. To be honest, you know me, I don't even have time. I can literally stay a whole three years without dating anyone. So that's what I'm trying to say, right? Do you think that is okay? Because, do you think that okay? Because me, I, I think I grew up. Like I didn't grow up about the obsession years. of me. Yeah, exactly. We, 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 I'm whatever. very, I can be very different. Like me, I can stay like two years without dating anyone. That's and okay. I'm do you just think it's fine. okay? I don't even know if it's okay. I don't even know if it's okay. <laughs> so comfortable with myself you know what that thing does it's good that is also the kind of person i am i can still like very long i can't remember that's my i haven't had a date so, like had a, a relationship well, you know while that can be okay that also cannot be okay because guess what that does to you you get so comfortable with yourself and you want to do life you know yeah, it's kind of bad. You shouldn't do like me now. So I'm, no. I'm, I'm, I like to do everything on my own. Exactly. Now, I'm trying to break that. And it gets hard. Pattern. And it gets hard when you're in your late twenties. I'm trying to like get show in your relationship. Because me, when I remember when I did like, I was actually like, controlled. Me I don't too. want to calm down. I don't want to calm down. You want to state. Me and too. When they're being seen, I'm like, why? Don't <laughs> I'm just like, don't treat me like a you. I can guess. ask. So, but now treat me like I'm So. Like <laughs> just a flower. Don't treat me like, oh, <laughs> treat me like your baby. <laughs> I, I have changed. <laughs> So I'm not embracing the soft feminine life. Like, so yes, I did say you should go misbehave in your twenties while dating, but give a space to be. So that be intentional, and at the same time, can go yeah, by seeing how it is to date, because doing that you learn. Guess what? You have to be experienced. In not being in a relationship kind of makes you inexperienced. Even though you learn from others, you need to learn it first hand. Yeah. Right? Because when you've not been in a relationship for a very long time and then when you get to get in a relationship at your older age, some things you're missing. It's different. It's, it's a difference. Because you know the point of like, being on dates now that I turned mm-hmm. 47. Well. Yeah. And it's different from how it used to be when I was right. 23 and I was right. on so, dates. Right? Yes. It's so different because now everybody's so serious. Do you like, get it? Okay, what do you want to do in the future? I'm like, what do you mean I want to do in the future? What do you mean I want to do in the future? I'm not talking about this right now. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm so dramatic. Oh, yeah. oh, I can't believe I'm shaking. <laughs> But yeah, well that's the situation we have found ourselves because we're getting old. Do you have something like to advise someone in your early twenties right now that is watching that is in their early twenties? You think you have the to tell so, them? I would say be kind to yourself. Extend the same kindness that you extend to others to yourself. And yes, it's okay to feel so many times. You might want a certain type, you might want to be a certain type of person. And I wish I was kinder to myself because the woman I am today, I was kind of too hard on myself. And I wish the grace I extended to other people, I extended to myself. That. I'm sorry I'm trying to be with just but you need to know Jesus after. Jesus is good for your soul. It's not every person I'm gonna bring you to the church. But then, you know but then Jesus. in case you don't know Jesus is fine, but I'm just saying what helped me, right? Because you don't have to figure out what you should stay out in a place here about what you're asking. What you're asking, what you're asking about, ask questions. And I think one thing that really helped me was that I saw the people that were my friends that I saw what they were doing. Okay. I would always go and I'll sit down and look at what they are doing. I'm like, I want to learn this to do, put me through. Actually, I, I want to learn that. Idea. And that was how I just knew that I wanted to be in tech because of I put myself around people that yeah, I knew yeah, could help me. And I was shout out to, to DC and Chicky and Orange. Chicky! <laughs> yeah. And you know, those yeah, the people that say. literally. Gave my way to tech and Aww, gave me cool. that whole. But yeah, so just be kind to yourself and also have standards like you know, friendship standards, relationship standards. Standard. You should have standards. Okay, and that is a wrap. Jenny, say something nice to our channel before you say something nice. About First of all, I'm a very big fan of the Blair Riches channel. Okay. I love how 
I love how intentional the entire channel is. And I mostly enjoyed the travel vlog. Because of her travel vlogs, I literally went to her. I told her I was going to travel. I went to travel, travel to. Yeah. yeah. So, so I went to her, 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 her YouTube channel. And I'm looking at her. I don't know if you put the breakdown there, but I was trying to look through the breakdown. Like, okay, what do I need? She provides you all the information you need to travel in Africa. If you want to go to the Republic, if you want to go to Kenya, Rwanda. She provides you with those information. So yeah. And she's so hardworking, she's so dedicated, she's so focused, and she deserves every good thing. More, even more. more. Yeah. I'm so happy you had me here. Yeah. Thank, thank you guys for watching. Thank you so much, Jenny, for having me. Thank, thank you for all you. of the germs you dropped, because I know that some brother will learn from it. Guys, I really hope you guys learn from it. Did definitely will. Really drop amazing comments. If you listen to anything, drop your comments. And if you have any other thing on, probably think you want us to talk about something else, probably not with her or someone else, just drop in the comments, okay? And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn on your notification bell so that in case I post, you get to them, okay? So, thank you guys for watching. So, we come your way next time. Thank you guys. Bye. Bye.